Hello YouTube friends. Well, I wanted to show you guys some beauty products that you guys have to run to Dollar Tree to get. <laughs> <laughs> I only have like one friend in real life who cares about this sort of thing and I need to tell more people because these are so good and as I've mentioned before in one of my other videos with a Dollar Tree haul I am unlucky enough to have a Dollar Tree right around the corner from my house <laughs> it's like two city blocks up and around the corner but it's wonderful I mean I can just run over there and be back within like 15 minutes so it's wonderful in some ways and other ways it's horrible because along with bags i love beauty products so my biggest thing that i love right now other than bags is fragrances so i am just stuck on any sort of thing with a good fragrance i don't know why it's my year of fragrances but um i want to start out with that and so i'll show you this this is the viral, <laughs> if you watch the Dollar Tree videos from everyone, the viral power stick, uh, Brazilian mist. And this has notes of pistachio and salted caramel. It, ta it tastes, it smells like, um, just like a suntanny beachy scent. If you like that sort of beach vibe and it's supposed to be a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro. I think it's uh, 62 the main normal one with the yellow coloring. And that costs like $24 for a tiny little sample bottle. This is 3.5 ounces for $1.25. So it's really good. The only thing is this is aerosol, so it's kind of like the Axe body spray. You just kind of spray it all over. I noticed that the first spray of it was really overpowering. It was just like, it would not go away. But subsequent sprays I think because maybe the nozzle had extra in it or something after that it's fine it's really light it does fade after a few hours but it smells really good it's kind of a powdery pineapple -y scent which I love so get this these that I'm showing you usually go out of stock immediately so unless you know when your local Dollar Tree stocks it they might be gone and you'll see empty spots on the shelf where these things usually are so this is one of those things that's always out of stock in fact I bought this off eBay to try because I had tried looking for it at several different Dollar Trees in different cities couldn't find it of course after I bought this on eBay I found it at mine go figure they had one left so and they apparently have a body wash too, the same scent, and it's supposed to be another dupe for the Sol de Janeiro. So excellent, excellent. Uh, this thing is partially used because I have been loving it. This is the Hemp Seed Oil Body Lotion by Next Gen, and it is enriched with oils and natural botanicals. It smells like pineapple melon, and it is a dupe for whatever one looks like this, the hemp brand or whatever. So um, yeah, it smells delicious. It smells like tropical summer, very sweet fragrance and that moisturizes nicely. It's a very um, liquidy product. It's not really thick, but it really does the job. It's very good, I like this. And I have sensitive skin, so all these are sensitive skin approved for me. So this is another good one, but this is a little bit older. I don't know if they still have this, but I know I found this at the beginning of summer. This is something new that I found, and it's by my favorite brand there called Be Pure. And this is a hyaluronic acid um, with B and E vitamins body lotion. This stuff is awesome if you have KP on the back of your arms, which I do. And I even have a prescription for tretinoin, which is a Retin-A product. And that's too harsh for me. It, it works, but it's too harsh. This, I put it on the next day, it was all gone. I am not kidding you. And it's $1.25. So Hyaluronic Acid by Be Pure. If you have problems with, um, probably not eczema, it might be a little bit harsh, but if you have KP on the back of your arms, awesome. This is good. Now these are my favorites. These are the dupes for the native body washes. They even kind of look like it. And they come in all these different scents now. The only one I had found originally was the Jelly Beans, which smells exactly like their Gummy Bear, apparently. And that was a limited edition. $1.25, you guys. This is body wash, and it's gluten-free, paraben-free, dye-free, and phthalate-free. So it's supposed to be good. You get 15 ounces for $1.25. Smells delicious. This smells kind of almost like 
grapey gummy bear candy. This one is the new one I got, peach rings, and it does smell like peach rings. <laughs> the gummy peaches smell so good. And then this one is also really good, another limited edition sugar cookie. It smells like cookies and cinnamon. So these are awesome, and they are also totally viral. These are selling out really fast. So if you see them, usually like stuck on a top shelf by the um, bar soaps and stuff, grab them. They're really good. So now into makeup, excuse me, I'm jiggling this all over the place here. Let me go down a little bit. Okay, I already showed you some of these with my Dollar Tree haul, but I've been using them and they are so, so good. So I have to tell you about them. So the first is this little LA Colors palette. I am telling you, I am a makeup hoarder. I have so much makeup. I have like a little chest of drawers. My husband said it looks like I am trying to do like a theater group or something <laughs> because I have so much. All different brands, very high end, low end. I don't care as long as it works. This is the one I go to all the time. The payoff is fabulous, silky, smooth shadows. There's not a lot of fallout. You've got some mattes at the top, some sparkles here. This is like a silken color. Beautiful. These work so good and they're just such nice neutrals. And this color is just called Haut, H-A-U-T-E. There you go. That's how it's called. But these are on the little hanging cards in the makeup section. Awesome. Highly recommend this. And then we have also for eyes a uh, brow pencil. And this is by LA Colors. This is just soft brown, but they have like a dark blonde one that's good too. These are really good. And they have the little spoolie for your brows but they work really pretty well let's see i like them because they're not like too too dark sometimes if you get a dark brown it's like too dark but i have really sparse brows so i always need these and it works great uh lasts most of the day so recommend this now these are my biggest surprise i got these in my last dollar tree haul video these are also by the brand be pure and I am telling you, I want to shout it from the rooftops. These are so good. They are so finely milled and just silky. And I'll show you what I think it's a good dupe for. But these are essentially ageless um, by Be Pure. So it's all natural. Um, luminizing blush is what they're called. And so this is a peachy shade. I am not sure what the name of it is. And a pink shade. They came in boxes. So I don't have the boxes. But these are the colors. The pink one is my absolute favorite. I'll kind of swatch it for you a little bit here so you can see. Look at that payoff. Is that amazing or what? And it reminds me, payoff wise, of if you like L'Oreal Infallible. And like I said, I have high end blushes, low end bl blushes in between. L'Oreal Infallible was kind of viral last year when it came out because it's really silky. It, is easy to overpower your look, but it's a really similar texture to this. It's just a darker color, but they do blend out really nicely and it just gives you a really pretty glow. Look at that. It's kind of like a glow flush. I prefer the, whoops, I prefer the Be Pure one. As you can see, it does blend out easier than the other one. The other one kind of is staying in a blob. It blends out beautifully and look at that glow. It's so pretty. And then the peachy color is also really beautiful. Same thing, really finely milled, and it just gives you a really pretty flush of color. So these are definite yeses. Really, really good. Be pure. Pretty much anything I've bought from that brand has been really good. And then lastly, we have more Be Pure. I wanted to try these because this concealer wand is so big. This is so huge for a concealer. And it's essentially ageless. And the other one is also essentially ageless. These are the light color. <clears throat> and I think they have very limited shades, like two or three. Um, they've got some darker tones. These are the lightest ones they had. And as you can see, they're kind of weird because I like the color of the concealer. It's kind of yellow based. This is very pink based and it's supposed to be a foundation. However, what I have found is that the foundation actually has more coverage than the concealer. So I'll swatch them for you. 
So if you want like a light coverage concealer and it does not settle into fine lines, I am 55 now. I have a few fine lines around my eyes. This does not settle in and it's just really pretty. It's a good shade. I wish it was a little bit darker, but see, it just kind of, it does the job and it blends in really nicely. Now the, this is the foundation. This is what I use for concealer sometimes because it's actually, it actually covers better than the, um, than the concealer for some reason. So you can see there, I have it going over the blush. So it's looking a little pinker than usual, but yeah, it, it covers better for some reason than the concealer, but together they are awesome. Sometimes I use this as just like a neutralizer or kind of like a, a dark spot coverage first. And then, um, then I use this but these are really very good. I like these. So anyhow, that is that. This is my recommendations for Dollar Tree. If you have one near you, you cannot go wrong with any of these items. And like I said, a lot of these have gone kind of viral and actually for a good reason. That's why I wanted to try them out. I mean, $1.25 is practically free, right? So anyhow, I hope you like this video a little different than my usual. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.